or violet red and then infrared. So when you th- when I explain this to a patient, how I say is red is a waveform that's a lot taller. So it can't penetrate as deep into the skin. So it can only go like, uh, uh, you know, from different research, it can really, it, it can't go nearly as deep as like an, a red or an infrared. And red, it starts, instead of being so tall, it starts to, uh, it doesn't have as much height, and so it can get deeper into tissues. And infrared is a lot uh, lower waveform or like a lot um, lower peaks and valleys, so it can actually penetrate a lot deeper. So like if we're trying to get all the way to the brain, a lot of times we're using infrared or maybe red. Um, if we're trying to have more of a uh, uh, an effect on tissues that are closer to the skin or maybe not having to go through bone as much, we're using more um, red and violet. Not saying those can't get to the brain because they definitely can, but just not to the same extent. Um, so that's kind of an important thing to think about when you're looking at using lasers as maybe a provider is like, what is, what am I trying to help with? What am I, what areas am I trying to penetrate to? And that's why in our office, we use so many different waveforms is because we want to use infrared to get all the way to the brain at certain points. But then we want to use violet at certain points because that's been shown in research to increase GABA production or calm the brain, or it's been shown to increase density of Purkinje cells in the cerebellum. So we can use different waveforms to do different things. Um, and it also depends on the thickness of the skull, like if you're doing transcranial or the thickness of the tissue you're trying to go through because like you need a certain amount of power to get through those. And the uh, when it comes to power, the nice thing about an Avant is you can bring it all the way up to a, a class four laser. You can bring it all the way down to a level two laser. Like you can variate the power so much depending on what you're trying to do. Yeah. And power and coherence. So like all, all photons are therapeutic. Not all photons can get into the tissues that you want. So you need the right wavelengths, the right amount of power. And for that light to be all, all that energy pointing in one direction. So you, that's where you get that penetration. So a lot of people, Oh, we're doing red light therapy or you can buy devices on Amazon for 150 bucks, but that's an LED. Those those photons just scatter everywhere. You might get a little bit into your skin, but like you know, the the there's no coherence. There's limited power. The pulse and like all those like important variables are really lacking on those devices. So 